space test Dream Chaser of the Sierra Nevada Corporation successfully completed a free flight test at the Armstrong Flight Research Center of NASA in California. The spacecraft is being developed to send cargo to the International Space Station. The flight occurred four years after the first glide test, which saw the other perfect end of the flight when the ship capsized on landing when the left landing gear could not deploy. According to NASA, the 2017 test verified and validated the performance of the Dream Chaser in the final moments of landing. The vehicle met with the models planned for a future return of the space station. The Dream Chaser flight test demonstrated excellent performance of the ship's aerodynamic design and the data shows that we are firmly on the path to safe and reliable orbital flight. Dream Chaser was lifted by a helicopter and flown to more than 10,000 feet 3,000 meters before falling. It flew with the same final approach and the same landing profile as if it were returning from the ISS. According to SNC, the test article included avionics software and orbital vehicle flight for the first time to provide validation of the orbital vehicle design. I am so proud of the Dream Chaser team for its continued excellence, SNC General Manager Fatih Osman said in a statement. This spaceship is the future and has the ability to change the way humans interact with space, and could not be happier with the dedicated team of SNC and the results of the test. SNC brought Dream Chaser to the Armstrong Flight Research Center in January 2017 in preparation for the free flight test. He has been occupying the same hangar that the NASA Space Shuttle Enterprise used while undergoing approach and landing tests in the late 70s.